What's up everybody? IFBB Pro Seth Ferrosi here on videos on manipulation of your hands. So we're sitting here at the chest press and you've seen me talk about, okay, the wider your hands go, the more outside of the chest that you're working, the closer your hand goes, the more inside of the chest you're working. And I always say that's a scratch of surface level of understanding because you can still manipulate the movement. Absolutely. Okay. For anything to work, it's going to have to pass. First thing we do with anything is grip it with our hands. Hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, biceps, triceps, shoulders, and then to our chest or then to our back. Like it's passing through all those different muscle groups. And there's tips, tricks, and manipulations of the hand movements and the grips for you to be able to target that specific muscle group that much better. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to explain this so that whenever you're doing an exercise, a lot of people are like, Seth, I have a really hard time working on the outer swoop of my chest. How do you do that? Me, I'm genetically gifted in my chest. My chest is, in, is a body part that just kind of grows no matter what I do it. But I also have a mind to muscle connection with the chest muscles so that I mean, anytime I do it, I'm feeling all chest. That's my whole goal. So how have I done that? I've been able to also figure out ways to target specific parts of my chest. So we're gonna dive into it. So we're here on a machine chest press. The reason we're using this and I'm explaining this is because we don't have to worry about stabilizer muscles here, okay? It's a get in and go. You pick your seat placement, you pick your weight, you make sure you're there and you fucking move. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, here's where I grip it. Neutral grip right there. But whenever I'm doing this, how am I gonna push with my hands? How do I push? Do I push with the outsides of my palms? Or do I grip it and I push a little bit harder with the insides of my palms near my thumb? Or am I just, am I just moving the weight to move the weight and hope for the fucking best? That's what a lot of people do because people see me work out, they're like, Seth, I can do the same weight as you. Yeah, but are you doing it the same way as me? No, you're not. So that's what I'm here to teach you right now. So let's grab this. If we're looking to target the outside of the chest, okay, the outside of the chest, that swoop, we're going to place the weight just like this and we're going to push with the outsides of our palms. Push. Even pick up your, your, your thumb so you can't grip it like this. Push with just the outside. Use a moderate weight to get the feel for this so you understand. I can feel it as I'm doing that with the, nine, with the 100 pounds that's on there right now. So right now, you can pause this video and go do push-ups right now and use the outside of your palms and you're going to say, wow, I feel it right here, right there. Holy shit. Now, same exercise, we're going to push with the inside of our palms right here. Now, I feel it working my entire chest, but when I come up and squeeze and get past that, that half rep right here, and come up, I can feel the inside of my chest squeeze like crazy right here, right here. Yes, whereas whenever all I do, if I man manipulate the, the hand placement and push with this, I can already squeeze, I'm able to squeeze the lower outer portion of my chest. Push on inside feel a huge difference. So now that you have this in your, your repertoire of understanding of this, whenever you go to do machine presses, I want you to manipulate your hand movement. That's the first step in this is just get used to, okay, if my hands are placed here, wow, I can actually feel it. Do them one armed like I just did with a lighter weight so that you can feel it and get used to it because the manipulation of our hands plays just as much of a role as our hand placement. Okay because now we can work on targeting specific parts from the exercises that we're doing. Because when you see me do all these exercises, I'm not just doing them. I'm not just going through the motions. I'm not just moving the weight. I'm feeling it. I'm even, I'm targeting specific parts of the muscle groups so that I can get them to activate and grow that much more. And from the, what you can learn from doing this, like I said, start with this, start with the, with the machine press and then work, start working it into the other exercises that you do such as dumbbell flies. Whenever you start doing flies, you're gonna start being able to pull 
and targeting specific because instead, oh, I'm just turning them in. Yeah, I feel it. But now if you start to make more of a connection with that specific part of your chest, you get that much more activation, that much more growth, that's more, more blood flow, everything. That's our goal with learning this. So start here, work with this for a while and understand it, start making that mind and muscle connection better and then start working it in to the other parts of your chest workout so that you can become even better at using those and utilizing and optimizing those exercises for that. So enjoy. Good tips, man. Keep working at it, keep hustling, and keep killing it.